Today's spookerific review, we're going to be having a look at the McDonald's 2003 Stretch Screamers. Yes, as I like to do every single year, I'd like to have a look at at least one fast food premiums that fall within the Halloween theme. And I thought, I haven't had a look at these ones thus far. We're going to have a look at the McDonald's 2003 Scratch Stretch Screamers. This comes to us also from Toy Quest. As far as I know, I've got the entire set. We're going to go ahead and get these opened up and have a ghoulish gander at them. Um, they, of course, come with their little insert card. Now, there is some controversy. I think some of these were uh, recalled due to some of the health concerns, health risks that, that came with them. But as far as I know, I did get myself the entire set, which consists of, as far as I know, eight. I think that's the, I think that's the full set. And I, as far as I know, like I said, I got all the ones, including the recalled ones. We're going to go ahead and grab Old Red here and cut open the first body bag reveal inside an insert card. This one shows you how to manipulate each of the stretch screamers and there are all the stretch screamers on the front. Now I will honestly tell you I don't know which ones were recalled. As far as I know it was this one and I feel it might have been this one. Somebody I'm sure will let me know down below. I'm gonna put these to the side. I have not actually had these in my collection for since 2003. I bought these on eBay uh, I want to say last year or maybe even the year before. I just never got around to reviewing them, so we're going to have a look at these now. I don't believe they have names. Like, I'm looking on the bag. I don't see a name on either side, so we're just sort of going to call this one like Mad Doctor or like Igor. Now, with these, they all have different ways that you can stretch them. So this one here, you're supposed to just stretch them out this way, as far as I know. Like, I'm looking on the back here. Oh, I see, I see. So this one here, let me just move that one over. This one here, you're supposed to push down. Ah, oh, that's right. This one you push down, and his little Igor brain squeezes up and pushes itself against the dome there. Kind of reminds me of Ricky Caldwell from Silent Night, Deadly Night 3. Okay, hold on a second. We shouldn't be mixing uh, holidays here. We're sticking with Halloween and let's stay with Halloween. But this one's neat. I, I do like the little gooey brain. Ooey gooey brain that's sticking out to the top of the dome there. And of course, as well, you've got the fact that you can stretch these. Now, I wouldn't attach necessarily one of these to the bumper of your car and the other one to a tree and drive off. I don't think the stretching forgiveness is there, but you can still stretch them to some extent. That's probably as far as you would want to stretch them. They are, like the arms are like very rubbery right there. Uh, the legs don't do anything other than just squishing up the little brain compartment. It doesn't have any posability or anything like that. On the back, you've got the 2003 McDonald's. Pretty cool, though. We put him right over there. Let's open up the next bag. Yeah, one of these, one of these was recalled, and again, for the life of me, I can't remember which one it was. Although I, I will say this one here does have a little bit of wetness to it. It, it's a little on the damp side leading me to believe, yeah, it was probably this one as one of them that was recalled. Still has the stretch option in the arms. And this one has, now I'm, I'm, I'm certain there probably was a lot, lot more water in there when these first started. Let's see if we can find the manual. Oh, it's all like wet. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's, it's exactly what I think it is. Now look at the Look at the back there. See where the liquid, according to the diagram, stops? Look where it is right now. I can't tell you whether this is water. It's probably something else in there as well. It's supposed to allow you to squeeze it. And, yeah, the brain is supposed to shoot its way up to the top. By the fact that this is wet, 
by the fact that the bag is also a little on the moist side leads me to believe that this is this guy was leaking at some point and probably a no-no as to why these this one specifically was likely recalled i'm going to take one of the bags i'm just going to put him down because i don't know how much more he's going to ooze out everywhere i'm just going to kind of leave him right there because after all this is a ninety-six thousand dollar backdrop i don't want to damage it it's not really ninety six thousand dollars in case anybody was so was like, oh my God, $96,000? No, it really, it really wasn't $96,000. I just say that just to be funny. Next one we have is this little skeletal dude. And along with that, he comes with this little pamphlet to tell us exactly how to operate his little functions. This one I remember from, I think I remember this one actually when he first came out. He's supposed to pull out, but there's not really a whole lot of them that actually extends. That's as far out as he looks like he's going to get. And I feel like when I'm doing it, I'm about to rip his torso off from the top of his, uh, from the bottom of his body here. Uh, nothing on him stretches as far as I know, but he does have, I guess that's part of the gimmick. It's supposed to sound like he's cracking and creaking, being that, of course, he is a skeleton. This one does get a little bit more posability, I have to admit. Uh, the arms don't look like they move, they move, but the legs, at the very least, do move. That's all he does. And again, I don't know to what extent. If you gave this to a small child, I don't think, unless they were Hercules, they'd have the strength to rip this right off. Uh, being that I am a little bit more of an adult, times it is questionable. Um, I don't know, again, how far out you could pull that without the torso... <laughs> ripping right off and rolling onto the floor and then the dog getting a hold of it but i, I like the skeleton that one's kind of neat by the way if you guys are interested in going back every single year i do spooky spots every single year as well i do i try to do the fast food premiums of something that is halloween themed so if there's something that you wanted to check out there may be a good chance that i've already had a look at them in a previous spooky spot year i'm gonna open up this next one and this one here is the mummy. Put him right down there for a second. Let's have a look at his instructions. This one, you pull his arms and he spins his face. All right, well, let's test that theory. Oh, hello there. Let's try that again. So it alternates between two different faces. And it seems like it, it works on this side rather than this side. This side is just the stretched arm. This one stretches, but also gives you the flipping face, as you can see right there. It doesn't move, doesn't have posability. Basically what you see, it's currently doing, and probably not gonna do anything else more than that. I like this one. I think this one and this mad scientist, I kinda called him Igor, but I think these two are my favorites so far. And then we've got just like Leaking Charlie over here. I'm just going to call him Leaking Charlie for the rest of this review. Uh, the next one we have is this sort of weird monkey wolf. I don't know what he is. He's kind of looks like he's part rat. Let me put the bags over there. Uh, oh, this one. This one you pull out, I guess, the, the schnot in his nose. And what's he supposed to Oh, he just makes this creaking noise. Maybe this one was the one that was recalled because this could come out. Maybe kids could swallow it. He does have some posability, though. His waist swivels and his arms rotate back and forth. But uh, it's kind of gross. He's got one giant nostril, though, and a little small nostril. Again, I don't know how hard I can pull this out without ping, this goes in, going across the room. There he is. Kind of looks like something you would see from the real Ghostbusters. Oh, and there's a little speaker on the back there, too. I guess that's to amplify the creaking, clicking noise. I can't say I'm overly wowed with that one, but it is different. I'll give it that. Uh, next one we have is one that kind of looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon. By the way, this one is number four. I really haven't been looking at the numbers on these. This one happens just to be number four because we just glance down at it. Sorry, I didn't say the numbers on these. Uh, this one here 
has the, oh, this one looks like it also could be water or sparks. Does this one spark? I don't know what this one's, I don't know what this one is supposed to be doing. If I'm looking at the diagram, I guess he's supposed to light up. Now, obviously he's not gonna light up. I mean, this is a rather old toy, 2003. Initially, initially you would have to now use your imagination, but at one point this would have lit up and his eyes would have lit up as well. Right now he's doing this. That's a big old goose egg, nothing. Squat, zip, just do nothing. He does still have the stretch option, so that's still good, but that's all he's really doing. Nothing else, nothing more. Uh, this one here is, let's start looking at these numbers here. That's number two. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up. This one's number two. This one comes with, what is this? This little hat? It's not, it's not a hat. I think it was just a little, dis oh, it was to go over the cap there. And let's grab the instructions on this one. So, yeah. This one has a stretching arm, and then it has something. Oh, it's got like a little liquid in his tummy, tummy, tummy. Which looks as if, judging by what I'm seeing, the residual there in the corner, probably started off as blue liquid. It's doing that no more. Maybe this one was the other one that got recalled. I think there were two that got recalled from this line. Uh, he does have stretching only on one arm. The other arm has some posability. Nothing else. Oh, he has a, isn't that strange, eh? Just the arm, just the leg. And then this arm here is stretching. This guy's just like a, a mixed bag of stuff thrown together. I've got an idea. Well, why don't we just throw it on this guy? Well, I got an idea too. <laughs> no, we don't need to make another figure. Let's throw it on this one. So he has like robotic arm, robotic leg, stretchy arm, and then something that probably like a little Tide Pod inside his little tummy. And it, it's not safe now ingesting Tide Pods. It was certainly not the case back then either. So maybe this one was also recalled, but it probably oozed up sent this blue liquid on its merry little way and probably sent it up here and probably sent it around to his eye as well. That has since dried up just like dust. <sighs> Gone. Over there, it's over there. So we have this little cyborg guy. I say little, I mean, he's he's far from being little. Oh, oh, let's not, let's not leak. Let's not leak him all over the place, shall we? This one, I can't get the stand. What am I doing wrong here? No, yes, no. Just lay down and think about what you've done. And last, but certainly not least, see now I can't even get this guy to stand, there we go. Last, but certainly not least, in this epic adventure, uh, this one here is, this is number three of the Stretch Screamers. You know, I feel kind of misled. When you say Stretch Screamer, I feel as if he should be screaming. Don't you? Isn't that what you think as well? I feel as if he should be screaming. Let's pull this one off, put that down below. And we've got like this neat looking skull. You know what this reminds me of? And I shouldn't have even volunteered this inviting of this phrase because now I can't even remember the toy line. But it kind of reminds me of, it came out the same time as Visionaries, and these would have been holographic on the front. Anybody have any ideas? Anybody? No? Nobody? Okay. But it does kind of remind me of that. I, I like this. It looks like a Scooby-Doo bad guy. And you would have got away with it too if it wasn't for those pesky kids. This one here, you're supposed to... What, what do we... Does the face change? No, it doesn't. The face doesn't change. It just fills his face with liquid. Oh, that's nice. Although, uh, I have to say to its credit, unlike Leaky McBaggins over there, this one at least still has its liquid intact. Longevity of that? I have absolutely no idea. Does have the stretch option. Still though, feeling robbed by the fact that none of them scream. What am I really expecting? I don't know but I would like some mild leveling of screaming. 
Silent Screamers, calling it no screaming whatsoever. They stretch. So really, they live up to half of their name. Stretch, Screamers, one of those things is correct. It's not Screamers. I might say this one's my favorite. Oh, no, no, what? Hold, hold on a second. This one might be my favorite. I really like this one as well with the brain, little gooey brain. Um, least favorite, I would say, is probably maybe this one right here. The snot guy, it's not really all that great either. He's he's snot that great. Let's see what I did right there. But this one is probably my favorite of the bunch. Let's just hope he doesn't ooze this black slime everywhere, causing destruction to this $96,000 backdrop. It's not really 96,000. Probably say this guy's my favorite, followed closely to this guy, which ironically enough, they look like they're very similar in mold, even though this one's wrappings, this one's kind of more like a, I don't know, shroud, what would you call this? Shroud, we'll go with that, shroud. Today's spookerific review, we were doing some unbaggings. Messy baggings over here. He, I think he's still continuing to leak. Today, though, we were having a look, though, at the McDonald's 2003 Stretch Screamers. I have now officially met my quota for 2018 for doing a fast food scary premium. I do it every single year. Don't believe me. Go back and have a look. I've done, like, the Burger King Simpsons and all that other stuff. And uh, quota met. All right. If you guys want to stay tuned to this channel, of course, we're going to have some more spectacular reviews over the month of Spottober. This is just the kind of the middle of the mark. I know we're kind of about two thirds of the way through the month. You guys are probably thinking there's no way he could possibly have any more than what he's done. He's done a service to us, society and culture as a whole. You've done your due diligence, sir. Don't just take a rest. No, I push forward. I'm going to continue to produce content for you guys over the month of Spottober and beyond. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button that's just below this video. I feel it. I feel like it's over here now. For all I know, YouTube will change. It'll be way up here. Somebody will say, it's, dude, it's not down there. It's here for as far as I know right now. That may very well change. And also while you're at it, why don't you swing by the homepage, check out some of the other stuff that I've done leading up to this video. All the older videos as well as new videos, you'll be able to find on the homepage under the videos section. More spookerific reviews, guys, coming your way for the month of Spottober, so stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.